o'clock, a story you just never hear of. A man on a go-kart charged with drunk driving. All of this happened at Swings and Things. News Channel 5's Kristen Volk is live there in Olmstead Falls. And Kristen, you talked to the man. What did he tell you? Frank, he did so much damage that one woman ended up in the hospital. It all happened here at the go-kart track Saturday night, and we tracked down that man today. 25-year-old Litho Freeman tells us the accident happened at the end of the session as the go-kart drivers came to a stop. He thought he could go around another lap, but when he found out the session was over, he slammed on the brakes, rear-ending the woman's go-kart. Police say she has a back injury. Freeman tells us he only bumped her going six to seven miles per hour. His blood alcohol limit was almost twice that of the legal limit. Let me know how she's doing. I hope you're okay. Sorry, ma'am. Really didn't mean to bump you. I mean, but they're, the way the police made a big deal about it, I didn't understand. These are, these are go-karts, you know? That type of thing happens within the race. Mm -hmm. um, it wasn't anything malicious. How fast does a go-kart go? Swings and Things does not sell alcohol. Freeman tells us that he had a few drinks earlier in the evening, but he was not drunk. We do not know the extent of the victim's injuries. Live in Olmstead Township, I'm Kristen Volk, News Channel 5.